my girl you ready to get swirlies welcome back to my youtube channel i love you so much today we are doing a what's new my wardrobe pretty it's a regular thing here okay if you're new here welcome if you're not new here oh that was very spenswa of me new my wardrobe is it's kind of a thing here. We go through what I've recently purchased, what I'm wearing for the season, am I following trends, what trends am I vibing, not vibing with, what am I liking. We've actually already talked about trends and I'm trying to be more of a staple shopper. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I feel like autumn winter is the perfect time to be a staple shopper. I feel summer is a little bit harder and that will be a challenge but 2022 can deal with that. I do look like Draco Malfoy. My hair is back because I need to style it later for... I'm going out later. And if I style it now and then style it again, it'll just be all flat later. You know? You know what I mean. I know you know what I mean. And I know I know you don't care. Okay. So girlies, we're doing Zara. We're doing ASOS. We're doing Naked Fashion. A few bits in between. I always tell you, I'm approximately 5 foot 2 inches in height. I am short. Trousers are usually too long for me. I'm typically a UK 8 on the top, UK 10 on the bottom. So I always just take that for reference. Usually during what's in my wardrobe, I will show you pictures. It's kind of going through my Instagram pics of the outfits I've worn. Not gonna lie, girls. My Insta content's been a little bit... I feel like I haven't done many outfit pictures. It just feels like I have, I don't know, Sam's away. It just feels like there's not many. I don't know. But anyway, my last video is a Zara try on haul. So I'm going to show you a few bits from Zara. These are like a few staples. But if you want more in depth Zara, that video is before this one. Okay, we get into it. Let's begin. Love you. Leave me any questions below. I see you in my likes, subscribes and comments. I appreciate you so much. I love chatting to you below. If I, if you ever need to ask me anything, you can DM me on Instagram. I always try my best to get back to you there as well. Love you. Okay, besties, let's start with a few Zara staples. This is a knife that I actually wore, so let's begin with this one. Obsessed with this. I actually wore this in the last Zara video as well. Obsessed with this jumper, okay? It speaks for itself. I got this in a size small. I was standing in the shop contemplating like, ooh, do I want to like upsize this? Do I want to oversize it or do I want it cute and small and cropped? I went for cute and small and cropped and I actually really like it this way. She would be very cute with like oversized sleeves if you went up a size. But anyway, I got a small and I love her. So I wore her here with also the zara reversible gilet do you remember these last year remember the the pink and beige one i love that so i always prefer like the pop of color from the inside so like last year i loved the beige and the pop of pink inside this i love the green on the inside but you can do both adorable both ways i think it's very cute green is obviously everywhere we love green moment these greens didn't exactly go but cute it's fine not too noticeable i think it's so cute the skirt there is stradivarius i'll link it below i've talked about the stradivarius skirt so many times and there's our boots girlies but they are last year i'm sorry but i do have an asos dupe for you i'm pretty sure so i'll link any i'll link a dupe for you below I'll, and i'll link these below you know i always link below if things are sold out i'll always try and find you a dupe or i just try to find you dupes in general like i'll sometimes try and find like an asos dupe for this etc etc okay you get me we love some Zara staples, so in the Zara haul I did show you that I got this black one and I got it in white but it was faulty as fuck and I actually forgot to order, I've actually been wearing the faulty one, my mum's gonna sew it together for me but I've been wearing the faulty one just pinned together under like jackets and stuff, it's been fine but basically I have the white one and this just like isn't sewn together. So it's like half across. It's weird. It's weird. But I'm obsessed. It's this really soft ribbed knit. Sorry, m &S hanger. I hate that. I hate that. I hate when hangers have a brand on it when I'm not. We're not in. We're not doing an m &S haul, you know. Very cute knit black. Is that showing? It's really soft. I absolutely love that high neck. You know I love a high neck. I talk about it all the time. I think high neck is so sophisticated. It spices up every outfit, okay? You're going to feel glam. You're gonna feel glam as hell, okay? I'll link the black one and cream below. Did I wear the cream one in a picture? If I have any pictures, I'll post them here. And then these are tank tops, absolute staple. They're kind of like a thicker, they're they're not your typical tank top that's like see-through, I hate that. They're like kind of, yeah, they're like a knit, but a thin knit, but thicker than a really cheap tank top, you know? Really cute, autumn colors, I think they're beautiful. They'll go perfectly with everything, adorable. I think I, oh, I think I have a picture of one of these. I'll, I'll show you here if I do. So what size, oh sorry, I got this and the cream one in size medium and I wear these in a size small. And these are just really, they kind of like, they're flattering. They look nice in your boobs, okay girls? It's just kind of sturdy. You know some tank tops are just a bit wet t-shirt party and that's hot and all but I'm not going to a wet t-shirt party, you know? So we love these. Thank you. So, girls, I'm wearing these tonight. Hopefully, hopefully I get an outfit pick tonight. So, I'm going out tonight with Sam Bay's family. Um, 
so let's hope Sambay does his magic. You know the drill. So I got these Zara boots. Now, girls, they, they were more expensive, okay? They were 160 euro. But I know I will get hella use out of these, okay? That's how I justify this, and I think that's a fair justification because they are brown leather above the knee, nice heel. I know I will get loads of wear out of these, okay? These are gonna be my autumn boots. Nights out, even a sexy brunch. I, I know I'll get my wear. So I got a size five. So I really, okay, you know what? Even if I don't get a knife to pick, I'll make sure I get a, I'll make sure I'll take a picture of the boots on the leg. Cause right now girlies, I'm just, we're not in the try on haul mood. I gotta be honest with you girlies. You really gotta be in the mood for a try on haul. You don't want to be crusty tan. I'm always crusty tan. Sometimes you're just not feeling yourself and you don't really want to be stripping naked from the camera, okay? So that's what I love about my what's new, my wardrobes. It's kind of when I feel safe and we don't do a try on, but the Zara hauls are usually a try on, or the Zara hauls are always a try on. But the what's new, my wardrobe is usually, I've done the pictures and this is where we talk about it. I feel you, you'll get that. You'll get, I know you get me. So I will, I promise, even if I don't get a banging outfit pick, I'll make sure I get a banging boot pick, okay? Do you like them? I love them. I'll link them below. You know what? I'll try to find a dupe for them as well. It's 160 euro. It's not that cute. It's not that cute. So we'll find a dupe for hopefully, hopefully under a hundy. Okay. I'll try. Girly pops, let's move on to ASOS. I do have a love for ASOS. It's because of the next day delivery. Now, let's be real. If you're an Irish girly, really, the next day delivery is not next day. Is that just me? It is not next day. It is minimum two days. Um, and that's fair enough, overseas, UK, Brexit, all that, okay? But it's not, it's not next day. And we pay for next day, but it's minimum two days. But anyway, I won't complain. That's really selfish to complain about that. So we're not complaining about that, okay? But I just would like you to know that if you are like us in Ireland, the next day isn't really next day. That's all, okay. So maybe you might not bother to pay for it, I don't know. Anyway, okay, let's start off with this because I'm obsessed with this trench. I've been living in this trench. It is misguided on ASOS. I personally don't shop misguided boohoo for little thing, but this is beautiful. The quality is cute. I actually am impressed by the quality. Like it's thin, but it's it's lightweight. It's meant to be lightweight. I really do love her. Very transitional. Goes with a lot of stuff, like beautiful over your trousers or a dress, skirt vibe. I really do love her. I'm showing you the picture here. So here she is. Oh, I wore her with. That is an ASOS Collusion shirt dress that I've had since like last year, but I think it's still online. If not, I'll find you dupe. But that shirt dress I wear all the time. I love that shirt dress. It's just the perfect length for me because I'm a little shorty. It's just, it's a, it's a good quality shirt. It's not see-through, it's not wet t-shirt party. It's good vibes, okay? Sorry, I'm straying a little bit because this is Naked Fashion, but it's Calvin Klein, but I found it on Naked Fashion. I love Naked Fashion. We have more Naked Fashion in a minute, but this beautiful Calvin Klein sweater vest. And again, is that called a sweater vest? Yeah, yeah? I'm gonna call it a sweater vest. I got a size S. Again, it was a, a more expensive piece. Quality so amazing. That's gonna last me years. I'm trying to be a better shopper. I'm trying to be a more mindful shopper. And I really, I really loved this and I just felt the quality, it's, it's good shit, it's good shit. I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this as a sweater vest because you can wear a sweater vest in so many ways. Maybe I'll make a reel on that sometime, but you can wear it with a skirt, you can wear it over a dress, you can wear it with your trousers, you can wear it with something underneath, you don't have to wear something underneath. Even coming into spring, you can wear a little t-shirt underneath. There's a lot we can do with a sweater vest. So I think they're a good investment. I think they're kind of like a staple wardrobe piece. But before we leave ASOS, so, I don't think I have pictures in these. But definitely worth mentioning. I'm obsessed with like suit trousers. Last autumn, winter, I was obsessed with leather trousers. I'm still obsessed with leather trousers. But I bought so many last year that I haven't really bought any this year. I've actually been buying suit trousers. I think suit trousers are so smart. They go with everything. They can be dressy, they can be casual. They look so cute with the Prada loafers or any loafer. They look cute with your runners. They look cute with boots. You get the vibe? So that's a beautiful brown pair. So they were on ASOS. I'll link them below. I don't think, if I have pictures in these, I'll show you, but I'm not sure if I do. And then these are Reclaim Vintage on ASOS. A nice nudie pair and a flared. I love a flared suit trouser. I don't like a straight leg. I love a flared. Really cute. They're just really easy to throw on. They're so cozy. And they just suit everything. They just go with everything. Oh, and I'm obsessed two beautiful scarves from ASOS. I think this is Monkey. Yeah, this one's Monkey. It's so beautiful. Oh, 
Isn't that gorgeous? Really soft. You can see that kind of cotton. Mm, yeah. Knit cotton material. My describing words aren't thriving today, girls. Look how cute. Okay. That looks so cute. This hoodie. Well, I just saying this. It's warm. I'm not gonna lie. It is warm. Okay. Adorable. Okay. So I'll link her below. She like 20 something euro. Because obviously scarves can be very expensive. She's a cute one. She's cute and she's very soft. And of course I had to get a chocolate brown. I feel like last year, girls, I wore so much chocolate brown. And I'm still wearing a lot of chocolate brown. But I feel like I overdosed on it last year. And I'm surprised at myself for not... No, I think I'm talking shit. I think I am still buying a lot of chocolate brown. I love chocolate brown. Chocolate brown. Mm, it's my favourite. Beautiful. This, I'm going to be honest, this isn't as soft as the monkey one. I think is this ASOS design. And I actually think it was a bit cheaper. And you can kind of tell in the quality, to be fair... To be honest, is is there even a label on it? I'll link it below. If I if I was to tell you to get one scarf for the winter, it's gonna be the monkey one. This is lovely. I love chocolate brown, but that one's really soft. That one's real cuddly. And there is, I'm almost sure there's a beautiful pair of loafers on ASOS that are really cheap and cheerful. Uh, what I always to end up doing is leaving links below for ASOS bits that I might not show in this video, but I feel like you'll love, like maybe a nice oversized blazer. Down below in the links, I'll do some extra ASOS ones just so you can have a look-see. Just some bits that I might not get around to showing you, but that I know that I love. And then I know that you'll love, okay? Oh, so I have this coat from Naked. Absolutely stunning! I love the pattern. So sorry, girls, I don't have a picture in her. My outfit pics have really been slacking. I'm sorry. I really did kind of, um, not, I didn't take time off because well, I guess I did kind of take time off. But then I'm annoyed at myself because I didn't really take time off and check out, check my head out. Like, I didn't check out mentally. I just checked out physically, which is good too. But um, I didn't do a YouTube last week and I kind of just chilled a bit. Yeah, I kind of guess I did kind of take a bit of a break. Let's just say I took, it wasn't a social media break. When I'll ever do one of them, I'd love to know. I need to do that. It's good for the soul. Anyway, what am I saying? Oh yeah, so no way for picking this, but pending. Keep an eye out. Maybe by the time I upload this. <laughs> She could have got her shit together. She could have got her shit together, okay? But it's such a beautiful check pattern. I love that. Quite timeless, if you ask me. Has the lovely belt on it. What size did I get? I got a 38. Random. Oh, actually, that's not random. You know I upsize my... I upsize my coats all the time. So 38 to 10. Yeah, I, even, I get an 8 or a 10 in coats. Uh, depending on the model, what it looks like on the model, sometimes I want to upsize it. I love a big oversized coat. I love oversized everything. You know this about me. It's not new. It's not new. So I mentioned I'm going out later, so I'll show you what I'm wearing. This is Free People. Really nice brand. I found it on Revolve. Uh, Free People I've had my eye on for a while. It's my first purchase from them. Uh, really happy with this. Quality's gorge. So again, this is hopefully... Hopefully I get the outfit pick, okay? What size did I get? I got a size small. It is like a jumper dress. Probably could have gone for a size medium because I'm gonna have to wear this skirt under it and this is with the brown Zara boots. So I'm gonna be wearing this skirt underneath it just for like, you know when you wear a skirt but you're only really getting like an inch out of it but it's better than, better than what it was gonna be. Like I just, it's a little, it's the tiniest bit too short to be on its own so I'm just gonna wear this underneath. I've shown you this skirt before, I'm obsessed. And I have it in black too. It's the black one. So beautiful satin skirts from a brand called MK from Copenhagen. I got size medium in both of them. I'll link the below. I'm obsessed. I really adore them. They just go with everything. They go with everything. They save, they save me a lot of trouble. Okay. I just, I love them. Girls, lastly, it's a vintage find. I'm loving a good vintage find. I just love a good vintage find. So this is a Max Mara vintage leather. It's actually like a chestnut brown color, which is so me. So it's actually not black, even though it kind of looks black. Um, okay, she's not thriving right now. She's not looking amazing. And I don't have a picture in her. I'm really not doing too good, am I, girls? I'm not doing too great. I'm sorry. I really let you down on the picture front. I'm really disappointed in myself. I let myself down. I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. Anyway. She's beautiful. She's very vintage, you know? She's giving me 90s vibes. Really cool season. I know she looks like nothing. She looks like nothing right now, but I promise she is very cool, okay? She's very cool because, you know what? I ordered the Motel Rocks, Olivia Neal, the leather jacket in that range, but the post, it got totally fucked up and had to be sent back because of customs or something. So I never ended up getting it. So this is kind of my version of that. Actually, girls, lastly, lastly, I really need to talk about this. I got a pair of New Balance sneakers, trainers, whatever you want to call them. Is it really Irish for me to call them runners? 
New Balance trainers. And I haven't worn them yet. I just haven't worn them yet. I think I'm used to like a much chunkier shoe. I'm obsessed with the Axel Argato. Is that what you call them? They're in Selfridges. Is that what you call them? the Axel shoes anyway? I love those runners. They're chunkier than this, but they're more expensive. They're like double the price. What do we think of New Balance girls? I'm just like, well, no, I know what I think of New Balance. I love them when I see them on people. I'm like, they're, they're, you look really cool. You look really cool, okay? But I just don't think they sue me. I think I'm too short. I think I'm too small or something. That like, I need a chunky shoe to feel like a human, to feel like a person. No? I don't know. And they're like the silver, I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe I just need to wear, I just need to do it. Maybe I just need to wear them. Or will I be fuming if I wear them and then can't return them? I don't know. I really haven't. I don't even know if I can return them at this stage, actually. I think I've missed the return, which means I could sell them on my Depop. That's okay, but do I sell them? Do I keep them? I really don't know. And I know New Balance are hard to get. I don't know if these ones are particularly hard to get. I don't know. I just don't know what to think, okay? I love hearing from you. You can tell me your opinions, okay? My gorgeous girlies, we're gonna leave it there, okay? Everything's gonna be linked below. I really hope you enjoyed. I really hope this gave you some inspo, what you wanna be wearing this season, what you wanna be shopping. Ask me any questions below, always, or DM me if you need me. Actually, on Saturday, I'm going to an awards ceremony. Uh, so I think I'm gonna vlog the getting ready because I'm getting my makeup done. Of course, I'll be getting a blow dry. So I think I'll vlog that and that'll be next week's video, hopefully. We'll see. I can't even show you the outfit for that yet because it's getting taken up in zip yard. So I'll show you in the next video, okay? I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you always. Love and appreciate you. And I'll see you next week. Love you. Bye.